And if you're Maryland, you, you kind of really like that, actually. You want to get tested in the early stages of the season because when you get towards Big Ten play later parts of the season, you want to have that experience under belt. You want to have some quality wins going forward. And it's always good to kind of see what you have and get a good, a real good test and a great opponent that can show you what you have in your team in the early goings. Luke Weirman wins the faceoff, and we are underway here in the 2023 lacrosse season. Richmond's way. And Weirman, who won 66% of his faceoffs last year, really was the best in the nation at it. But that time, and he's just going to pass that off for Geppert. Scored the game's first goal. Geppert with Jake Cap on him. Team in the country right now. But the faceoff won by Chinoy. Now Richmond is going to get a possession here. That pass is high, looking for Stoll, who's just going to pick it up. It's in the stick of Dalton Young. From way out, he's knocked it down. Got to think this Maryland offense, they were a little bit antsy there just to get the ball back. Diving down to try to keep that in was number 33. That's Alex Wicks, another MIAA guy. Played for national champions. Richmond with some fight there as well. They've outshot Maryland, but they just haven't quite had the shots go their way. They haven't been able to get them on goal. Maryland has seven shots, and all of those have been on goal, Tyler. Fight for this ground ball is going to be picked up. Richmond is going to have the first possession of this second quarter. A broken stick there on the field. Beerman wins another faceoff for the Terps, but he's had it taken away. This is Dalton Young the other way. Young's going to slide that across to Graham. And Richmond, it's good all day long. Now they're up 6-1. to one. This ball still loose, picked up there by Chinoy. But he's lost it, and Weirman is going to get it back for Maryland. Weirman just trying to roll that over, and it will get to Geppert. And again, when Maryland can get into... This type of situation where Weirman is kind of just curves right in on that far post. That's an incredible shot. Ground ball picked up by Geppert. That's Murphy's second goal where it looked like the pass was intended for somebody else. First it was Kelly, that time Quan lead for the top ranked Terrapins. As Richmond, they're gonna take another face off. This is Dalton Young. And pick up, get the basics down, but it's a very hard sport to master. That's why they say if you're athletic, you should play lacrosse because there's a chance it'll be good. Dante is an example of that and that much more because he mastered the game of lacrosse and became one of the best. And we are back underway. Weirman lost his stick. Really was proud of that team, and now he's doing it here at Maryland as a junior. Taking advantage of that time and time again today. They lead it 10 to 1. Weirman wins another faceoff. But that pass looks like it's going to get away. He won the faceoff and throws it right back to Richmond. Long, and that's just an example right there of how good he is from distance. Geppert has been one of Maryland's best offensive players today. He's got a goal and an assist. This is Maltz over to Murphy, who's got four on the deck. Setting up Syracuse. Seems like every offensive guy on this Maryland team has something on the board today, whether it be a goal or an assist. But that says a lot about how Maryland's defense played. They've been, they forced a lot of shots coming from the 10 to 15 yard range, and those are not high percentage shots to get on goal, and the ones that do come on goal, those are pretty easy for McNaney to save a goalie of his caliber. He sees those one almost every time. Richmond averaged 14 goals per game last season in this opening matchup. As Chinoy has won that faceoff. That's a long pull shot there. Taking really tough looks the whole day. He finally gets a really good one, and he does take advantage. And I would say he deserved to have one in this game. It's just when you're up against Logan McNaney, nothing comes easy. There's no question about that. We've seen it on full display today. Elliot Dubik, the freshman. Being in Richmond on the ride, and they finally get themselves in a position to receive a pass in the middle. Young 
doing it once again the same way he did it just a couple moments ago. Logan McNaney to go back to back, potentially win another national championship. You get that under your belt. You learn a lot from games like this, although on paper you're losing the game by 11 goals, but a lot of good things happened for Richmond today. A lot of things just didn't quite go their way, and they'll have time to regroup and rebuild. It's, it's only February.